Breaking news from breaking the rules. Well, guys, Andrew left the founder of Citron Research, who famously shorted GME last January. Has his computer sized from his home in early 2021 due to the FBI investigation into the short selling. Not sure if the year is actually 2021 according to unusual wells. Maybe. Uh, more likely it's 2022. But like I said, the Department of Justice are moving slowly, but they're definitely moving forward. Yesterday we got an info that currently they're investigating around or over 60 different short sellers on the market. But you know, collecting data passively from here and there, it's one thing, but going after the, the, the short seller research company into the office, sized his data computer, so on and so forth. Potentially they, they, they could uh, turn some of the shelves upside down. At the same day or day after we saw the Chicago building for the storage, some of the data of the Department of Justice. I mean, speculations from here to the moon, but guys, things are very sketchy. The news is coming out for Andrew Left and Citron Research because they're famous. But guess what? How many other not so famous short sellers research companies collaborating with the hedge funds are already experienced the same exact thing? For me, guys, it's less likely to believe that from all the 60 different short sellers or research companies under investigation, only one, the Andrew Left's one, is uh, having uh, all the data sized from these offices, right? It's less likely. Most likely uh, this happened already in different companies, but simply because they're not famously involved in some of the short squeeze plays. So if days before this news, the big boys on Wall Street were thinking that, you know what, new proposals from the SEC, big deal, nothing's going to happen. Two months ago, Department of Justice investigation over short selling, big deal, nothing's going to happen. But after this news, guess what? They might actually consider visit from Department of Justice itself because everything should be based on the data and documentation that they found out in Andrew Left's office. Which, my dear apes, from then you can actually start a real investigation. Having the exact people, exact actions, shares, data, purchases, orders, if something appears, of course. If they find something, right? They size data, they size computers, uh, if they find something, this is good. If they don't, life goes on. Also, guys, earlier on Twitter, I shared the recent proposal and the new development from the Rule 10B1 from the SEC, requiring any person or group of persons who owns a security-based swap position that exceeds the threshold amount set by the Rule to promptly file with the SEC. Definitely, you can say anything about the SEC and Gary Gensler, but... Gargensen said that he's focusing on transparency and all the rules, as we can see, are focusing in detail on more reporting from the institutional investors. Remember, next week will be coming new rule into effect that is focusing specifically on the policy changes and deal with issues raised by last year GameStop saga. And adding the confession from yesterday that between 90 and 95% of the orders are not executed to the lead markets, it just adds the cherry on top, guys. And if you are watching this video and you feel kind of confused from all these rules, regulations, investigations, data reporting, buildings on fire, data collecting, and computer seizures, well, guys, I'm totally with you. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and come back for more.